Hello, the whole internet is getting crazy about chat GPT. Um, chat GPT is gonna replace uh, um, homeworks, uh, or better saying, it's gonna replacing uh, um, the effort uh, put by a student uh, to do its own homework. Uh, chat GPT uh, is gonna replace uh, customer services. Uh, chat GPT is gonna replace uh, this and that. Uh, yeah, really, really impressive piece of technology. But let's try to have a look from a different angle. Um, let's say in five years, what we see, um, well, we, I don't know what it might be possible is that in five years, SaaS companies, SaaS stands for software as a service, I don't know, Gmail, for example, you don't have to host it on a server. Uh, in your home, uh, it's just, you know, gmail.com, whatever, and then you can use it. So this is a, an example of a software as a service because uh, you don't take care of anything related to the infrastructure, the maintenance and so on, it just works. And companies use uh, a lot of these kind of services. Uh, it might be Salesforce, for instance. So SaaS companies uh, might be replaced by MAAS, Model as a Service. What is the idea is that those models are going to be trained in such a way that they can, yes, replace uh, things like um, customer care, um, I don't know, uh, churn uh, reduction, uh, um, and the list might be just endless. Um, but then at a certain point, uh, those models are uh, very well trained, uh, <clears throat> super fitting uh, to the uh, to very specific scenarios uh, are going to are gonna become a commodity. And at a certain point, at that point, uh, that moment of time, the access to uh, data, proprietary data, it's going to be the, uh, the, the, the competitive advantage. Because if my model was trained upon data that you didn't have, of course, by definition, my model, it's going to be, it's going to be better when we consider models uh, like a commodity okay so the investment is not it's not um, anymore about the model itself uh, the way i train it and so on so it's a commodity so what is the difference for the output is really what i put in so the access to data um let's take an example um really you know um uh, out of my imagination but it, it sounds reasonable right um, so a company who can virtually integrate with an hospital in order to um, train its own models with first-hand data from the patients. Um, an example might be a model to uh, identify cancer, to predict cancer. So if you have access to this first-hand data, um, your capability of production is going to improve way, way mm, more. Um, but then there is an, an, another very important thing, because this was the first uh, ingredient, the access to data. The second uh, is the possibility to already have a clear certification pathway. What do I mean by that? Let's take um, autonomous driving. Um, everybody's talking about it. There are still uh, um, a lot of complexities, technical complexities, because, you know, it's real world AI. But at a certain point, uh, uh, we might um, reach what is considered a good level. Maybe it, it's not uh, going to fit every possible scenario, but for sure, you know, major cities, the highways and, uh, and so on. But here, the problem is that we lack legislation. We really don't know how much time it's going to take uh, for uh, the, the, the authorities uh, to really uh, embrace uh, this kind of change. So. It's very, this, this topic is surrounded by uncertainty. Getting back to, the, to a, uh, an example in the, in the healthcare, FDA, uh, Food and Drug Administration, is used to certify new drugs, to certify new procedures. So there, are, there is a clear uh, certification pathway and uh, maybe we just some adaptations here and there, um, new, uh, a new wave of models uh, could just get certified and you can start um, using them in the in the real world and this is a great advantage because at the mo at that moment of time 10 years who knows what you're gonna have models as a commodities then some companies uh, that are able to 
train and feed um, those models uh, with first-hand uh, data. Plus, those models are going to be certified for real usage. What, I'm, what I want to say is that um, here, even from an um, investment perspective, uh, probably the next wave uh, is going to be something uh, around this concept. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.